What is going on guys, this is SJH Sports and welcome back to episode number 6 now of my Leeds United career mode. If you want some cheap and reliable ultimate team coins and make sure you check out utcoinbank.com links, everything like that for the website and his Twitter will be in the description below and why not give him a follow as well and help out a fellow Leeds United fan. Now, Chelsea in the Carling Cup, what a great draw we've got there. I'm not sure if we're at home or away yet, but um, we'll get to that in a little bit. Going to mix things up a bit. I'm going to do some changes on on game day to see how we to see how we do. We are indeed at home, so that's a, that is a possibility. So I'm just going to mess about mess about with my team now. See what I can do with it. Uh, got to rest some key players as well because the league is our main priority this season. Um, it's always nice to have a decent cup run. So I'll speak to you guys very shortly. So as you see there guys, that's the team that I have built, uh, well built, well made. Um, three changes from the side that beat, uh, Drew, sorry, to Brighton. I had to think then who we played last game. Um, so Matt Smith comes in for Paulie and White comes in for Stewart and Alex Moa comes in for Luke Murphy. We are playing Chelsea guys. What an exciting time of the season this shot is going to prove to be and we are at home as well. So here we go then guys, we are playing Chelsea at our beloved Elland Road and we have the first chance of the game, it's Rudolf Foster from quite some distance out, doesn't trouble the Chelsea Handanovic goalkeeper, but then we lose possession really, really cheaply to Samuel Eto'o, who somehow, I don't know what happens, he bulges his way through and he finds the back of the net and Eto'o wheels away in celebration. Then Hazard was causing us all sorts of problems in this game. His runs, his agility just caused us nothing but problems. The ball in. Eto, that, that should have been a free kick. He tried the cheeky back heel. And that is only the highlights that I could show you at half time. And we get the second half underway. And then, the suspicion of offside. Byron does really well. It's a great challenge. Maybe could have given away a penalty. But what is Byron thinking of? He gives the ball back to the Chelsea player who finds matter. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Then we catch Chelsea on the break. This is how we was going to score by catching him on the break. McCormack tries from distance and he drags his shot just wide of the post. And that wasn't really that. That was probably our best chance of the the game. It's a lovely play from Chelsea. Opens up really well. Some great goalkeeping and a bit the good old goal goal mouse scramble. And the referee somehow warns him a free kick. And the free kick is taken by Hazard. Hazard shots deflection and Ashdown gracefully keeps it into his grasp. But then I try playing the offside track. Chelsea beat it. Eto is through. It's a fantastic save from Ashdown. He has really kept us in this game. And Chelsea are looking like they're going through to the fourth round of the draw. But we do catch them on the break. Some lovely play here from Matt Smith. He bulges his way through just like Eto did for their goal. Lays it off to Murphy who shoots his blocks. Poor Dome rises with a headache, comes back to Murphy and we just just can't do anything to break down Chelsea's resilient defence and that is how it stayed. Chelsea beat us 1-0. So after our disappointing defeat to Chelsea, who can blame us? We did really, really well and we get a manager offer from um, they want to offer me a head coach position at uh, an international side and it's New Zealand and um, I ain't going to accept that. They are they're not a bad tie, ba a bad side. Um, I've not been in management for six months, and you know, getting international offer just like that um, really is something. Uh, we've got Watford next away in the in the league, back to league um, formalities now for us after being knocked out of the Capital One Cup right up until uh, January when. The, obviously, the, you know what comes out for the FA Cup. Uh, so we've got Watford then. We are going to be playing this game and I look forward to seeing how we get on. So here we go then, lads. This is game day. We are playing Watford at home who are in no mugs at all. And in the 25th minute, we go a goal in front. Some great play from Ross McCormack. The man that is on form in real life at the minute with his hat-trick at the weekend. And McCormack wheels away. And that is all I can show you. There was nothing else really to show you there. But in the second half, watch this from McCormack. Great little bit of play there. Beats one, beats two, goes in between them both, running down on goal, and they got a shot away, and it's made the goalkeeper save. And Watford managed to clear their lines. Watch some fantastic play from McCormack. Then Moat sets up Paulie on, and it just goes wide of the post. We should have done really better with that. And Watford's first chance come in the second half. Pierce plays it against his own post, and Troy Dean is there to gift 
Watford straight back into the game. Why or oh why does it always happen to me? But then more or less straight from the kickoff, McCormack involved once again. Plays in Moat and his shots just goes over the top of the bar. And that is how it stayed, lads. Which finish Watford won, Leeds United won. So then our next game is QPR at home. I said in the last episode 5 that we need to start taking draws and turning them into all and vital three points. We know we can do it. We need to keep our concentration at the back and not let in any stupid goals um, like we did against Watford and keep our back four tight. We'll have to be on form in this game. QPR are certainly no mugs with the sort of players that they've got um, in the side already. They are sitting fourth in the league. We are still seventh. Let's see how we get on. We are ready. The fans are ready. We are playing QPR. And it's us that do that start off the best. Some great play from Ross McCormack. Has a dig and says that with a great strong two hands behind that. And Oviedo plays a lovely ball down the line to Rudolf Austin who cuts inside. Gives it to Dominic Polion. So lovely footballing move. Dom Dominic Polion strains us really well. Crosses it in and As Asu Akoto puts it into his own net. But then more or less straight from the kickoff, It's a ball that just caught our defence out. But Paddy Kenny stays strong and big and we managed to clear our lines and then we are playing some good football now we are in the mood, our confidence is high and Kebe gets into the area and again it's a fantastic save from Julius Cesar but then it's QPR's turn to attack Byron does well to put a foot in, the cross comes in and somehow Zamora gets in front of our goalkeeper and our centre half which I was a little bit disappointed about but never mind, But again some more lovely football, McCormack shoots and it puts it wide, he just couldn't wrap his foot around that very unlucky indeed and then on the 42nd minute, we are faced with some very bad news. Jason Pierce goes up for a challenge and falls awful on his shoulder. And he has to be subbed. And that is how it stays in the first half. Being very action-packed. It's 1-1. And we should be really a goal up. But in the second half, more or less straight away, Kebe does some great play. Does really well. Beats two players. Does a ball into the near post. And somehow... That doesn't find its way into the back of the net and it stays out and QPR managed to clear their lines. But then we intercept the ball, it's some great play. We are catching QPR on the break. Our pace is taking its toll. I never felt I'd say that as a Leeds manager. But then Kebe shots and it's another fantastic save from Julius Cesar. And that is how things stayed. Another draw. We are turning into the draw kings. I don't know what to do in to, to score goals. I may have to change my play. It's finished Leeds 1, QPR 1. So then after the QPR game, we are faced with an injury from Jason Pierce, which we showed you. Um, he's out with a bruised shoulder. He's going to be out for nine days. A bruised shoulder? Nine days seems a lot, uh, quite a lengthy time. However, nothing I can do about that. And that is basically this episode coming to an end, guys. I will show you the league table. Because we've drawn plenty of games, as you see, we are ninth, man. We've drawn six games. We've, most teams drawn. Blackpool have also drawn six as well, uh, which is very surprising. As goal difference is three. We're on 15 points. We are moving further away from the playoffs, which is a little bit worrying for me. Um, so that's it, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It greatly appreciated from, from myself if you do that. And I shall see you all on my next video, and goodbye.